Hello and welcome to the All Flyers. A video we posted recently explains how Boeing's culture allegedly deteriorated and played a part in the tragedy of the Boeing 737 MAX accidents. How profits were put before people. It wasn't always so. In 1916, timber merchant William E. Boeing and US Navy officer Conrad Westervelt founded Aero Products Company, renamed Boeing Airplane Company in 1917. He met George Conrad Westervelt, a Navy engineer just arrived in the Northwest. The two men shared a fervent interest, the new science of aviation. The machines were still a novelty at the time. Their design had advanced very little from the early box kite prototype of the Wright brothers. On the morning of July 4th in 1914, Boeing and Westerville decided to celebrate Independence Day by purchasing rides in an airplane flown by a barnstormer off Lake Washington. Bill Boeing went first. The pilot revved the engine, the craft raced across Lake Washington, then lifted off into the air. Sitting on the lower wing of the plane, Boeing's feet were braced against footrests, his hands gripping the edge of the wing. There were no seat belts. William Boeing was thrilled by the experience. When the plane touched down, he exchanged places with Westervelt, then immediately went back up again when Westervelt landed. The two men spent the rest of the day repeating the experience. By mid-afternoon, they were already planning how to design a better airplane. What began as a holiday lark on the 4th of July in 1914 became one of the world's greatest airplane companies. They wouldn't recognize the Boeing juggernaut today. Arguably, Boeing's most iconic and profitable aircraft has been the Boeing 747. Millions of people have traveled on this jumbo jet, which has been likened to a bus in the sky. Inevitably, it all had to end. The last 747 has been built. Workers gathered at the Grand Assembly Plant in Everett to see cargo carrier Atlas Air fly away a 747 freighter model, the 1,574th and last Queen of the Skies ever built. It was the late Joe Sutter, chief engineer on the original program, who led a team that designed, built and delivered the four engine jetliner in such record time that they were nicknamed the Incredibles. Sutter was given the task to design a new jet in August 1965. The first test plane rolled out of the newly built factory in September 1968 and had its first flight the following February. The first production plane was delivered to Pan Am on January 22, 1970. In this first wide-body jetliner, economy passengers were seated 10 across and filed in along two aisles. It could carry 420 passengers three times as many passengers as the prior 707 jet. Later models grew in capacity and range so that the final 7478 passenger version could carry nearly 470 people on Trans-Pacific and other longer haul routes. Then, as jet fuel prices soared, airlines switched to the more fuel efficient two engine 777. 
when orders for the passenger model dried up, five years ago, Korean Air was the last airline to take delivery of a passenger model 7478. Demand for this freighter capability kept the 747 line going. The first 747 freighter was delivered to Nippon Cargo of Japan in March 1972. The freighter's unique nose door flips upwards to open a gaping maw almost 12 feet wide and 8 feet high that runs the length of the plane. For the final 7478 model, 70% of those built were freighter planes. Here is the first flight of this aircraft in 2011. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video and want more aviation porn, hit the like, subscribe and notify buttons. Comments are always welcome.